Hi folks, welcome back. And what we're going to do today is uh, continue on with the green slime experiments. Uh, except today we're not going to use any water at all. We're going to kind of backtrack to about 40 videos to the uh, solid state experiments. And we're going to run these just like we did the solid state experiments without adding any water. <coughs> okay. Uh, because uh, basically I want to ask answer the question is what does this battery prefer uh, I mean if there's we, if we know it can use structured water and we know it can use free water and uh, there seems to be a question of I've always assumed that it would be used uh, that it preferred free water and over structured water but that may not be the case so what we're going to do I've got three uh, different uh, membranes made up here uh, this one is aloe vera gel, which is a natural gel, of course. Uh, this is the polyvinyl alcohol and alcohol mixed together gel. When it's almost dried out, it's been sitting there for, I don't know, half hour or so. And then uh, this one is the green slime. Uh, and I've got uh, the gel on both sides of these pieces of paper, so they can contact both electrodes. And uh, we're going to try them and, and see how they uh, see how they perform. Okay, let's do the uh, let's do the aloe vera first. And stick it on there, and we'll put the side it was on the wax paper down because it did stick some to the wax paper. And that up. straight. Alright, there we go. So let's see what we get now. And we're not going to add anything to it. Just like that. And we have... Oh, shit! We're 1.07 volts and real steady right there. Okay. And... Okay, I'm on a 20 milliamp setting right here, so let's short it out and, and see what we get. It looks like it's uh, wanting to climb up. I don't know why it didn't measure on the two. Oh, there it goes. I thought we were over 200, 2,000 milliamps there at first, so we're actually right about 1.08 volts. Alright, so let's put a little pressure on it there. 1.8. 9 or 1.09 and actually climbing okay so let's see how many amps we got ready 3 2 1 15 look at that which makes sense because the exclusion zone is structured water so and let's see there's our uh, self charge is we're back to 1 volt and still climbing pretty fast. Let's see how high it goes. There's 101. It don't look like it's going to make it back to 109. Looks like 102 or 103. Probably the 103 is where it's going to go. Whoop, look at it taking off now. There's 103. Maybe it will get back to 109. Then I think it's going to hold right there. It does. See, there's that same 103 that we see over and over again. It wants to stabilize right there. Alright, see what our amps are. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 23. And the amps went up again. It's, it's restructuring the water. It has to be. It just cha it's changing the structure of the structured water. All right, let's see what it comes back to this time. Coming up on one volt. 
There's a one volt. Alright, looks like it wants to stay right in there. Let's see if whoops. Let's see if the uh, amps go up again whenever I Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Twenty-two that time, so about the same. Okay, which well, has three discharges on that one. Let's switch out for the next one now and try it. Get that off of there. But that's a really nice amp right there, and there's no graphite or anything on that. Okay, now here we go with a man made polymer gel. And again, this is the uh, this is the uh, PVA clear PVA and alcohol mix. And now this is this feels definitely way drier than the aloe vera, which makes sense because there's alcohol in it and it's evaporated already. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, less voltage for sure. Although it's still climbing some, I think. Yeah. Alright, so we had 109 out of the uh, aloe vera. And this one is, uh, looks like it's going to be at 90. Climbing slowly, real slow. It's definitely not going to get anywhere close to 109, so let's just test it right there. Ready? Three, two, one, and piss poor. <laughs> that was uh, half a milliamp. So, just just in case though, let's put a little bit of water with this before we switch it out. Yeah, that's water. Our voltage went up some, although it's, let's see the voltage is dropping on it. All right, let's see what kind of amps we got now. Ready? Three, two, one. Forty-three. <laughs> Whoa! Well, there we go. Oh no, not forty-three. Four point three. I'm sorry. And that means the other one was 2.3. So this, with water, performs better than the other one. I forgot I was on the on the uh, 15. No, so it was 15. No, then it went to 23. So it was yeah, 2.3 milliamps. And this was uh, four something. So this, but this works really good with water. We should I should have switched that other one back. And. Uh, and see how uh, see how it does with a little bit of water on it. Let's do that real quick. And so this is going to uh, looks like they're all going to be the same. They're going to drop in voltage up the amps. That's we we know that's going to work the same on all of them. I think. But we'll might as well test this again before we get there. So we've got 90.90 volts and climbing. Let's see what we got right there. One, two, three, uh, six point two milliamps that time. Okay, so same thing. The, the voltage drops some, but the amps go up as it structures the stuff or restructures it, I should say. All right, now let's go back. Take that off. Let's put this one back on and throw a little water on it.
far our, our voltage dropped on that one. Down to 0.866. It may have been a little interaction between the stuff on the on the electrodes though too. Anyway, let's hit this one now. Three, two, one. So 6.5. So really, they're about the about the same. It looks like, and they they need it looks like it needs a little bit of water. Okay, now let's try let's try this last one. Let me wipe this off just a little bit. You know, it feels feels pretty dry already. Alright, now we'll put the green slime on there. And see how that one goes. now. Remember yesterday we were showing it at uh, point, uh, uh, 0.76 I think. And But now we got it on both sides and I think that made the difference. Now we're at 0.832 and climbing a little bit. Well, so we're 83 something. Let's see what kind of amps we got. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Alright, 2, 2.1. Okay. Now this is actually isn't a gel. This is really like a thick suspension because it's mostly clay. It's a magnesium aluminum clay with a plasticizer in it. A glycerol is what that is. So this is a polymer. This is like a thick suspension, and uh, that's a natural uh, polymer. All right, so and it's ch it's charging back up. All right, now let's. Uh, Let's put just a dab of water on this one so we treat them all the same. And see what happens. We don't want to put too much, about the same amount, four or five drops. Okay. If it goes above about, uh, this was like 6.3, and that was like 6.5. And so we'll see what this one gets. So it looks to me, just from a, a real first uh, look at these, comparing them, that the natural aloe vera is the best. You know, you got the highest voltage out of it and also got the highest amps. It performed better than the PVA and alcohol, even with the water, and better than the, uh, the green slime, too. So it looks to me like aloe vera is, uh, would be the way to go, and it's a natural gel, so you can eat it. All right. Uh, if I got enough time, I'll be back. If not, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.